Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing series, I am Aditya. This video is going to be the last video of this series where we will be deploying our website on Firebase. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, before we begin, we need, of course, Firebase project so that we can create uh, host our website. So to create a Firebase project, if you have a Gmail account, then you just need to go to firebase.com, then to the console, and then you just need to create a project. Once you create a project, you need to add an app inside it. So in my case, if I go to project overview, I have a project which has, okay, so if I go over here, so my project ID is this, my project name is something else, but I have created an app inside it. So just make sure that everything is set properly. Once you have your project, the next thing we need to do is, now here, I have two websites on the same hosting. Now, in your case, you might have just one website. So I'll tell you what to do when you have just one website and what to do when you have two websites. Now, my first website is also a Nuxt website. My second website is gonna be a Nuxt website as well. So I will be deploying my website on this Nuxt3 app. Now to begin with, we can go to deployment in Nux3 documentation and there is Firebase section. So when you click on it, it will take you to this documentation. Now the problem here is there are certain problems. <laughs> so like the problem is there are certain problems. So to solve those problems, we need to have some uh, like walk around or we just need to follow certain different solutions. So let me tell you what I mean. So first, we need to begin with by installing these dependencies. So I'm just going to copy this from here and let's just paste them over here. Enter. Now this will install these dependencies because we will need Firebase admin, admin SDK, which is going to be the Node.js package, Firebase functions. We will be writing or actually Nuxt 3 will or Nuxt will provide us a Firebase function and we have, we will need these Firebase functions to host that Firebase function. So that Firebase function will act or will serve our website because our website is going to be a server-side rendered website. So we will need a Node.js serverless function to serve our HTML. Now, next thing we need to do is, now I'm already logged in with Firebase. So we just need to log in with Firebase. But before that, make sure you have Firebase tools installed. Now this Firebase tools allows you to run Firebase commands. So first, install this globally and once that's done log in with the correct account and then you need to init hosting so let's copy this from here and paste it over here i'm ready to proceed yes existing project and i want to use this existing project now it's asking me for public directory i'm gonna just hit enter uh, for this i'm gonna hit no deploy on github no and that's it. Now here, it will create a public directory inside our project. If you're already using public folder, it will create these two files. Now, what I would suggest is first, like as soon as you see them, just delete them <laughs> because those files will cause a lot of problems. So just delete them and I'll tell you why we have to delete them. Now, once you delete them, the next thing we need to do in your next config.ts, add this line, which says nitro, and then preset Firebase, actually not line, but it's an object. Now, what does this mean? So we will be using Firebase preset when we build our next project, because once we use this preset, it will have certain build configurations or it will build the project in a way that it is suitable for Firebase hosting. So we just need to make sure that we build the project with Nitro preset Firebase. Perfect. Now, next thing we need to do is here, we need to be careful of certain things. Now, first thing, let's go to firebase.json. Here you will see it has given us like minimal Firebase uh, configuration. So what we need to do here is, so this firebase.json and there will be firebase, firebase RC. So this is fine. This firebase RC is fine. Here in firebase.json, we just need to copy paste these things from here and paste them over here. Perfect. Now our project ID, now here, here is the twist. If you're having a single website and if you're not having, if you're not like me where you have two different, two websites on same hosting, then in this case, just skip the step that I'm gonna do next. But if you have just one website, here you just need to put your project ID, okay? But if you have two websites, in that case, what you need to do is first, you need to define a target. I'm gonna call this target as Nuxt app. Okay, 
Now, next thing is it's asking for like the public folder because Firebase needs to know which public folder it should look for for rendering the HTML content. That's why I told you to delete the previous public folder because then it will go inside our output public and it will mess up with our website. So for that reason, just delete those two files as soon as you see them. index.html and 404.html created by Firebase in it. Then we just need to have these two configurations as well. Now rewrites means wherever we have a source or whenever a request comes, we want to serve that request with a function. Now here we also need to provide the node engine or runtime. So I'm going to call it runtime. Now I'm using node 16. So node JS 16. Perfect. And now I'll take you to GitHub of Fire uh, Nuxt 3.0.0 RC12. Now many of many people out there they have a problem when they deploy Nuxt website on Firebase. They see this where it's kind of like an error, unexpected error has occurred. It's mostly because somehow the fire the built version like once you create the dot output dot server when it's created certain packages are missing in that so we need to install them manually by our side by running npm install and then this error should be solved and i'll tell you how to do that so what we need to do is inside our package.json so i just took reference from there and what i have done is i have added two scripts so one script actually so what i have done here i have deploy dash fb hyphen fb which means this script is first going to set a target. Now this thing, this line over here, this will be only applicable if you have two websites on the same hosting like me. But if you just have one website, just skip this line. Do not put this line. Now here, what does this mean is, so I'm saying I want to deploy this website on my, this website over here. And to do that, I want to have a target for it. And that target, I have defined it over here. So actually it's Nuxt app. So I should also call this Nuxt app like this. Then, then I'm saying Firebase target apply hosting Nuxt app. And that will map to the website or the hosting website where I want to deploy this website. Then I'm telling to change directory to dot output forward slash server, which will be there once you, once we build the project. And then now I'm on Windows, that's why I'm using this command. But if you're on other like Mac, then in that case, you need to write rm space dash r. That means remove directory. So we just need to remove that node modules folder. And after you remove it, you need to install the packages that will be there in the package.json of dot output forward slash server. Then you need to change directory back again. And at the end, you just run Firebase deploy. So let's try this. Now first we build the project, so npm run build, perfect. So the build is ready. Now here in my case, I'll get back to Firebase. I have a function with name server over here. Okay. Now I want to override this nut server, but I want to keep this server because this server resembles to my Firebase serverless function for my another uh, Nuxt 3 website. So what I need to do here is I just need to make sure that I, when I deploy this on Firebase, the function name is changed. Now the problem here is, now this is only for those who have two websites like me on Firebase and have already have that function server inside functions. So what you need to do is go inside the output. Now this is actually not the right way because you're changing the build folder because once you build it, you have to change it again. So you, it's like doing it again and again. So do let me know in the comment section if there is a better way for this. I would be really happy to know that and actually I would like to know that here we are having export a named named export now from the chunks firebase.mjs we are having this server i'm going to call this as nuxt server okay and then in my firebase.json where i call function as server because this server was referring to that server function over here so i'm going to call it here nuxt server again this step is optional if you have like if you have just one website, then this step, this step is not for you. But if you have more than one website and a function with server, then this is step, this step is for you. Okay, perfect. Now, next thing we deploy. So I'm going to run npm run deploy fb like Firebase. And then it will first set the target. After the target is set, it will change the directory, then remove the node modules, install the node modules. Now it's installing and then it will deploy on Firebase. 
okay here it is asking me do i want to delete the old functions for now i'm gonna say no and then it should create nux servers us central one in us central one region and the nux server function it should deploy and that should be fine okay so our deployment is ready now let's try it out so we'll copy this url from here and paste it in new tab and there we go we have our website hosted on firebase yay now let's give it a try view three add perfect react like the channel subscribe if you haven't yet and yeah so that's all in this video and this series hope you enjoy this series hope you enjoy this video as well if you like this series if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this series if this playlist is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so thanks a lot see you in the next video till the next time goodbye